Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the sum and the product of mean and variance of a binomial distribution, so sum of mean and variance, it is given to us as 24 and product of mean and variance is given to us as 128. Then the probability is asked of either one success or two successes. So probability at x equals 1 or probability at x equals 2. So that is the question asked to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, 33 over 2 raised to 32. Second answer choice, 33 over 2 raised to 29. Third, 33 over 2 raised to 28. And the last answer choice given to us, it says 33 over 2 raised to 27. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us here. Let's solve this. So we have been told binomial distribution and we know for a binomial distribution mean is n into p where p is the probability of success and n it's nothing but number of times the event is done and variance it is given by product of all the three n p and q where q is nothing but one minus p so it is nothing but probability of no success that is basically the total probability which is one minus the probability of success so these are the two ideas that we know for the binomial distribution. And if I solve this further, it's told to me that mean and variance, the sum of them is 24. The product of them is 128. So these are the two ideas given to us. If I further solve this, I get n into p plus np. I can just write this q as 1 minus p which is 24. And this, if I try to solve, I get NP, N into P, 1 minus P is equals to 128. So from here, if I try to find NP into 1 minus P, I get that as 128 over NP. So you have this, you have this. You have both the equations. If I put this NP into 1 minus P, I can put that as 128 over NP. So if I put that in equation 1, so putting 2 in 1, I get this as NP plus 128 over NP equals 24. So from here, if I'm putting, let's say, NP as X, so this I am putting it as x. So I get x plus 128 over x equals 24. So you get x square plus 128 equals 24x. If I further solve this, I get x square minus 24x plus 128 equals 0. That basically gives me x square. If I try to split this middle term, I need the product to become 128 and the sum to become minus 24. So I get the numbers as minus 16 and minus 8. So I try to solve this quadratic further. From the first two terms, I take x common, I get x minus 16. From the second, next two terms, I take minus 8 common, I get x minus 16. Equals 0. So from here, I get x is 8 or x is 16. So you get n into p is either 8 or n into p is 16. Now, once you have n into p here, I can just put that in one of the equations and get the answer for the question here. So from here, if I try to put it n into p, I know it is nothing but 8 or 16. So I know from the second equation, np into npq is equal to 128. So from here, I get Q is nothing but 128 over NP squared. Now, if I put both the values of NP that I have, one is eight. So if I put eight squared, that's 64. 
and that gives me q as 2 and if i put np as 16 which i have got that is whole squared again. So 128 over 256, that gives me one over two, which is half. So I get the probability here as half. Here I get the probability as two and we know probability can never be greater than one. So I understand that this value of Q is rejected. And when this value of Q is rejected, the value of N into P also cannot be eight. So we reject this value of N into P as eight. So we get NP as 16. So we have with us now Q, which is half. When Q is half, I can just find P by doing one minus Q, which is one minus half, which is half. So I have P also half, I have Q also half. When I have both of them half and half, I know N into P is 16. And when N is the unknown and P, we know already it's half. I find N that makes it 32. So I get the number of trials as 32. Now the question asks me to find out the probability of either one success or probability of either two success. So to find that, I can just use the idea of binomial distribution that says probability at x equals to r is given by ncr p raised to r into q raised to n minus r. So if I solve this idea, I know probability at x equals to one will make it Total number of trials are 32, so 32 C1, half raised to 1 and half raised to 31, plus 32 C2 because R is 2, half raised to 2 and half raised to 32 minus 2, which is 30. So in all, you get 32 C1 is 32. This becomes half raised to 32. This 32 C2 becomes 32 into 31 over 2. This also becomes half raised to 30. So from here, I get 32 plus 32 into 31 over 32 into half raised to 30. So I get here 32 common. So 1 plus 31 over 2 into half raised to 32. So from here, if I try to solve this further, 32, 33 over 2, if I solve this, and you have here half raised to 32. So in all, I get 32 written as 2 raised to 5. This is 33 over 2 raised to 33. Now, if I try to cancel this 2s, I can cancel 5 2s. And from here, I get the answer to become 33 over 2 raised to 28. So if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions on binomial distribution. So we just knew mean, we just knew the variance. We solved the two equations given to us, that is sum and product are 24 and 38. And we found out the value of Q from NP and we got Q as half. From that, we got P as half and N as 32. Once I got that, I just used the idea of binomial distribution to find the probability and solved it further that matches with option c so c becomes the correct answer here for the question given to us i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you're enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and Share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.